So it seems like it's tough to be a man after all. And this is from the point of view of someone that just transgendered from a woman to a man, a transgender man. And I'm kind of interested in their perspective. It seems like they're going through a lot of tough times. I feel sorry for that. But I've always wondered how difficult the, the transition might be because I think it's a diff it's just an entirely different process. Because if uh, at least an di entirely different process from becoming a, a man to a woman, because I think uh, different uh, different circumstances uh, surround you. I think maybe more attention may be given to you if once you become a female, if you really do look like a, a female. And I think uh, the opposite happens if you really do look like a male. If you have like this individual here that have a full beard and mustache, there's no way I could tell that this was a, a woman in the past. So for them, I'm wondering how that transition happens. And I think you get less attention when you become a man. At least that's my uh, perspective of the, the situation. And I think they're talking about something similar to that they seem i think they seem more lonely more isolated i think that might have different effects because i think you may still have the, the thought processes of a of a, at least a, a, a biological woman so maybe that interferes with the, the entire transition process but this is a extremely fascinating uh, subject to me i'm glad someone said this to me so let's just uh let me react to the video and give you my perspective afterwards here we go Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. I had closer friendships with random women I met in the bathroom before I transitioned at clubs because of how open women are than I've had Especially in my eight women. years of transitioning. Dang. Because women are just so much more vulnerable and deep than men. But to have known, and I think a lot of trans men feel this, is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us. And to have people want to talk to us. And to have a community. And then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you. And friendships are so much harder to build. And people are colder. It was hard as none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men. All of that's valid. Okay. <laughs> but I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. Because this shit is lonely. And I'm an emotionally mature man. I know how to build friendships and it is still really really hard try to think about how you can in your small little community where you feel safe can reach out to the men in your life and just help them feel maybe seen for a moment or do do little little conversations to help their emotional maturity so that they can reach out to people and have deeper guy friendship wow so uh, it's so sad to, just to see them like that. It's just, uh, I guess that's the the big difference uh, between a lot of guys. I guess a lot of guys are more used to isolation, uh, at least for for me, myself. I know there's like a period where I was just working on my own business. I was just basically by myself for most of the, most of the time. So it was like years of doing that, just working in isolation and just not even feeling the impacts of that. And I think that mindset is a lot more difficult for people that were born biologically women uh maybe they're more prone to having more community community atmosphere and i i guess like what he meant what she what he mentioned in the before in the beginning where it was easier to, to build friendships as a woman you make a conversation easier a lot of women are more open to you i think the opposite happens when you probably transition into a man women are going to be more closed guarded because they don't know what you want from them and that's that's fine and that's i think that's good women should be like that uh, when approaching a random new stranger men because uh, men are just uh, just in their entirety are just more dangerous to to, to women in general they, they have they're just stronger physically and women have to be more aware of their surroundings around men and i think this this transgender man is finally feeling that effect once they fully made that transition where you're going to be more isolated a lot of women are not going to pay attention to you depending on your i guess your your height too there's going to be a lot of discrimination there. Your height doesn't matter as a, I guess, uh, as a, a woman, but uh, once, once you become a man, it kind of does matter to women around you. So I think for, for this situation, I can tell they're, they're feeling a lot of tough feelings. 
uh, I understand that, but it's just uh, it's just a difficult process. It's it's just a completely different process from turning uh, from a man into a woman because it feels like no matter what, you're gonna get attention once you become a woman. Uh, once you once you were a man, you became a woman. You're gonna get attention from someone, and it seems like the opposite happens once you become a woman transitioning into a man you lose all that tension you got when you were a woman because men are just uh, i guess inherently to society itself more expendable less valuable more dangerous uh to, to other women uh so to, yeah basically other women so you it's just kind of a different world and it's kind of funny to see them kind of experience this for the first time kind of coming to grips with that uh, just that that big difference that a lot of people, a lot of, I guess, modern day philosophies try to refuse. They, they, they try to state that men and women are the same. But uh, I think there's fundamental differences. Uh, of course, we're all equal in, in reality and life. But just this fundamental differences between the two genders. And this is where it reflects it, where it, where it comes out the most, I guess, in the, the transgender man, transgender, transgender woman, uh, I guess, debate. Uh, I guess uh, the difference is there. And uh, it's kind of wild to see this person experience it, coming to grips with it and just, I guess, voicing that that, that difference out. Of course, it feels like they they're still holding back. They're still. I guess rejecting that difference is to a certain extent. I know they said it, everything is valid, all the the criticisms to the straight white male or whatever. Uh, that doesn't excuse anything, but it's just uh, it, you, you you're finally feeling the experience of, of being a man, and it's not pleasant. Uh, but I think for most men, I think we're okay with it. That's that's just life. Uh, at least for me, it's just it's kind of life is uh, has we just have our own different uh, difficulty settings i know that people like this people may not understand like but this is we're playing on the difficult a different difficulty setting like a video game and i like that experience whether this is hard mode normal mode i don't know exactly but it's a mode that i enjoy and for me i'm fine with it. i think most men are fine with this this uh, sort of isolated lifestyle but even then we we still have our own version of companionship with friends but it's just not the same way it's not done the same way with women where it's just kind of like a community thing men we can detach from our friends we can come back for like 10 years later i know those friends i didn't speak to in five years have come back we're we're like we come back and talk like nothing ever ha happened or, or no time passed and that's just the, the lifestyle of a man we don't remember uh, I guess small grievances. At least my group friend, group of friends. I know there's other male group of friends that that, that have different, uh, I guess, uh, characteristics. But just for me, my experience is that we, I don't have to really be in that community setting to to thrive. And it seems like this person still needs that community setting to thrive. And that's kind of that's going to be hard for them. Anyways, tell me your thoughts. Uh, what do you think? Do you think there is a difference between being a man or a woman? The lifestyle, at least a thought process. Leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time.